I thought maybe we already have too many coding LLMs, but it turns out that there is still room for a lot of improvement out there. AI Xcoder 7 billion parameter model is one such example. This model has undergone an extensive training on just 1.2 trillion unique tokens and the model's pre-training tasks as well as contextual information have been uniquely designed for real-world code generation context. AI Xcoder 7 billion stands out as the most effective model in code completion scenarios among all models of similar parameter sizes and it also surpass surpasses mainstream models like Code Llama 34 billion and Star Coder 15 billion in the average performance on the multilingual NL2 code benchmark. Also, this company which has built it, AIX Coder, has a plan for further development on the AIX Coder model series and they are already building a lot of cool models on top of it. Now, the data for AIX Coder is divided into a core data set and an extended data set. The core data set comprises the programming languages commonly used in development as well as natural languages closely related to the code. The core dataset programming languages mainly include nearly a hundred mainstream languages such as C++, Python, Java, JavaScript, while the natural language component primarily consists of Stack Overflow, Q&A, technical blocks, code documentation, and computer science papers. The extended dataset mainly consists of filtered open source code dataset, high quality English natural language dataset, and high quality Chinese natural language dataset. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally on Windows and then we will play around with it on some of the coding tasks. So let's get started. The tool which I'm going to use for it is LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have done various videos on the channel. So please search the channel. Let me launch the LM Studio. This is my LM Studio and after launching at the home page, I have just written AIX Coder. Let's press enter and you can see that uh, just three days ago Bartowski has done a quantized version. I'm not going to go with the base one. I'm just I will just use the 7 billion GDF one. Let's scroll down and I already have downloaded this Q6 quantization level. Let me show you the file too. And let's click on three dots and load the model. Let's wait for the model to load. By the way, I am using 16 GB of VRAM on this system with one GPU and my total memory is 32 GB. Let me make it a bit bigger. Let me offload max to the GPU and then let's load it again. Model is loaded. Now let's test it out on one of the coding uh, problems. So I'm asking it, a write a program that fetches weather data from an API and displays a summary for a specified specified location. Output the current temperature and weather condition. For example, weather in New York. This let's try it out. Okay, so it hasn't given me the full one. Let's regenerate. Okay, now better. Okay, so this is much better where it is just using this time zone. I was hoping to have more, but it is just. Maybe I would need to uh, increase the tokens. Let me check. It has produced the results, but I'm not really satisfied with the whole program. Let me see if it is better in the code completion, which stays on the title. In this one, I'm asking it write a code snippet to declare an integer variable named num and initialize it to 10. Okay, so. You so it has written this and initialize it to turn, so which is correct. Let me ask it this code completion question. Complete the following code snippet to check if a variable is, is underscore valid is true. If it's valid, complete this block and then another one in the else condition. Let's try it out. Yep, that is great. So you see that this model performs much better when it comes to code completion. Let's ask it one more code completion question. So here I'm asking it, complete the code to add a new element x to the end of a list, my list. And then I have given it a list or array. And then in a comment, I'm asking that complete this line. Okay, let's see. Press enter. Okay, so has it done it? 
I don't think so. It has just uh, appended this for, but I think no, I think it did X here, and then instead of giving the full program, it has just given us a code snippet. So it has done the right thing, but I was expecting the full program, but that is fine. So let me see if it is able to implement a um, try set block to catch a zero division error when dividing two numbers A and B. There you go, it is good. So for the code snippet, it rocks. Let's try out another one. In this one, I'm asking it to define a class named rectangle with attributes with width and height, including a method named calculus, calculate area that returns the area of rectangle. So far, it is writing it in Python. Let me try C++. Write this in C++. There you go. I think this is quite good. And now if you look at this, I'm asking it that write a code to open a file named data.txt in read mode and read its content. And I'm going to ask it to use the Java for it. Use Java for it. There you go, looks correct. Yep. Spot on. Let me ask one more. I'm asking it write a code snippet to extract the first three characters from a string text and store them in a new variable substring. Let's see if it is ever aware of older language. I will just ask write this in COBOL. Okay, if you're a COBOL programmer, please let me know if this one is right. That is good. Uh, let me see another one. Write a program in Lisp to uh, print a name. Let's see. Yep, so Lisp uses this uh, parenthesis. So I think this one is quite correct in this sense. If you are in crypto, you might um, know this. So I'm asking it to write me a smart contract in Haskell, which is a programming language of the Cardano blockchain. So let's see. Okay, I don't think so. It is aware of Haskell at all. It's quite a uh, cryptic language. Anyway, but I think so far so good. Uh, I believe that this model is quite fine. They also have this website uh, for the project, the whole code. I think it is mainly Chinese, but I'm not sure. So you would have to translate it into English to read about it. But uh, they also have this hugging face model card to which I will drop the link in video's description. They have gone into way more detail about how to install it in Linux locally and then a lot of other stuff. So quite good. I mean, I'm pretty happy to see it. License is that uh, academic research, but if you want to use commercial use, you need to apply for here. Now, of course, this one is just for educational purposes, academic purposes, but uh, would be good to have it in Apache too. But anyway, it's up uh, to them. I think model is quite good, especially when it comes to code completion. But as far as writing the full code, lags behind as we just saw. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.